Alright, now you can see that I inserted the other half a centimeter, half inch nylon tube right after the o-ring. So you can kind of see it like that. It's, I inserted it until it touched the o-ring and I believe um, uh, real quick here, I'll figure it out. It is 1.2 centimeters deep. Yeah, couldn't totally remember there. Um, so once you do that, you go ahead and grab some super glue. Like so. And do the same process of gluing the edge. Right around like that. Okay. So go ahead and do that. And as you can see, it's glued in there. So, that should do it for that step. And just let that dry. And then you can move on to the next step. Okay, once again, you're going to take another um, half a centimeter, half inch nylon tubing, once again. And in the opposite end of the one that has the O-ring, so opposite of the piece you just glued, you're going to have another one. And, once again, work it in there. Do the vice method that I showed you earlier. Crank it in until it is 1.1 centimeters deep. Alright, so I just worked this into this 1.1 centimeter mark. Go ahead and take it out. And there you go, it's in once again. I'll do the same process. It's a very repetitive process, but you need to do it. And then, once again, glue like so. For this step, you're going to want to take your barb of any sort that you had. You're going to want to just mark a point on each. So I'm going to just do it really quick and simple. That's all you got to do. And cut it at each one of those points. So you could use Dremel cutoff saw. And that one does tend to have flying plastic, like melted plastic at your face, which isn't always the greatest. So use a hacksaw. Now you're going to want to take your end cap and drill a hole smack dab in the middle like so okay now that you have it drilled out it just I don't know what size drill that I used but it just has to be able to fit this fitting pretty tightly so if it's that well so I'll set that aside here real quick while I find my super glue here it is what you're gonna want to do put some super glue around this edge insert it into here and let it dry. So we'll go ahead and do that. Alright, and in it goes. Simple. Not too hard of a process. Now that's gluing and let that dry. Once you have the opposite piece of nylon in your assembly here, you're going to want to take your other o-ring and insert it right on top then pack it down in. Make sure it's nice and flat and level, like so. Then take your other nylon, half inch nylon tube that's 0.5 centimeters long. And you're going to want to insert this just like the others. But this one, you also want to do the vice thing, but it's not going to go down very far. There's only going to be like a 0.3 centimeter lip right here. Alright, as you can see now, this piece is inserted here. You're going to want to glue that like all the rest, let it set, and then you will have a very small lip there. And that's what's going to help contain your spring. Alright, once you have this piece glued and set, it can still be gluing, but while you wait for it to dry, you can take some lubricant of your choice. I use barium grease because it's designed for O-rings. Put some over this entire rod here. So you're just going to cover it just a little. Don't need too much. Well, I just used a lot, but that's alright. And we'll take that off there. And you're going to insert it into the end that has the deepest part, if that makes sense. So there's 0.9 centimeters between the nylon in here rather than the small one. So you're going to insert it into there. And once you get it in, it will slide a little easier. There we go. And I just gotta push that through once again. And 
you're also going to have this little lip here, which is what I forgot to mention. So, yeah, you're going to want to take it out just a little. Sand this edge down with the Dremel. I'm going to use a sanding drum. Sand it down until this slides through into the CPVC freely and easily. Alright, now you can see this piece uh, fits in now because I sanded that down. So it's smaller. It slides in freely, easily. All of the above. Not too bad. Um, once that step's done, you're going to want to take your end cap right here and you're going to want to put it on right here. So, put that on and then you're going to glue it in place. So, I'm going to pull this back up and push that down. Take that off here. Take some glue. Put it around the edge here. You can use PVC or CPVC cement. I just have super glue right now. So, that's what we're going to use. And, just go ahead and put it on like so. It doesn't have to be on all the way. If you have more space, it's actually good so this rod can go back further. But, that's not always necessary. Pull that back and then let that dry. Alright, so after you have it assembled like this with your end cap on, and this is moving nicely, um, you're going to want to drill a hole two centimeters back from this edge. So from here to here is two centimeters. That way you'll get inside this little cavity that's in here. So then you can take another barb, drill a hole that's the diameter of this barb. And you're going to want to put it in, and you're also going to want to glue around it. So, first things first, glue around this little barbed piece. I may have used a little too much, so I'm going to hold it upside down just for that fact. We'll push it in a little there. Alright, so that's in there, and then just for extra sealing, we're just going to put some glue right around the edge. Alright, for this step, you're going to want to take your 3 8 inch point three length uh, nylon tube and the 0.3 centimeter um, half inch nylon tubing. And then you're going to take some super glue, put it on the inside just a little bit here of the half inch nylon ring and then put it right over top this one and let them glue into place and let those set for a little bit and then you'll end up with this little piece here alright for the final step here what you're going to want to take is a nail and you're going to want to put this through the input end so that you can push this rod back then you're going to want to take this and clamp it down in a vise. It's going to clamp and hold it down like that so that I can't really kind of get what I'm going at. So now this rod can't move it down. And what you're going to take is take your soap pump spring with the base here, if you can see that, um, and cut it down to 1.9 centimeters. Then take the part with the base, put it facing down, then take the piece you just glued push it down over top halfway and make sure this doesn't shoot off at you because sometimes it does. Then apply some glue right in here and so you don't get glue on your fingers push down with something all the way. There you go. I got some glue on my pliers so I'm going to go ahead and take that off real quick. And then take this and that's what it should look like while it's gluing. Now your spring's in there, so it's spring guided. And there you have it. You should have your entire valve assembled. Alright, so here's the valve just made. Um, I'm hooking it up to this reservoir here that I have. This is connected via a hose, and I used a hose clamp. So we're going to fill it up and test it out. Go ahead and see this. Try again. Let's go ahead and and there you have it. Very simple push button valve.